Hey guys, all right, so I am in the process of removing about 100 layers of paint in our new home. So with that said, I need to be safe and check to see if there's lead paint because the home was built so many years ago. Anything built before 1978, you need to check for lead. And this house was built in 1886, so clearly there's a very good chance that it could have lead paint in it. So I've picked up, um, actually I had this shipped to me, um, by 3M, it's a lead check swab, so it's an instant lead test. Um, it comes in these little swabby things, and you take it, and you are supposed to pinch on two points. Now, however, they are really hard to pinch. So I have some pliers here, and I am going to do that. Let me swap it. Let me get this up here. So, okay, so here. I'm gonna just pinch, and then it will break the seal inside of there. Do it again. You can hear that. Now, it says to shake it. Sorry, this is like a home video, guys. Shake it two times while pinching. I've noticed that you have to do it a little more than two times because there's gonna be a yellow um, ingredient that's gonna come down through there and get that uh, test swab yellow. So let's wait on that. You can hear, ooh, ooh, I dripped some on my floor. Wipe that up. So we'll get that like that. So I'm gonna read the directions to you guys so you hear what they say. So it says crush. A squeeze and crush points marked A and B located on the barrel of the swab. Check and, or shake and squeeze. With the swab tip facing down, shake twice and squeeze gently until the yellow liquid comes to the tip of the swab. The swab is now activated for testing, okay? Rub. While squeezing gently, rub the swab on the test area for 30 seconds. If the test tip turns pink or red, lead is present, okay? So you guys see I have this respirator on. It's a lead uh, paint respirator. So, okay, I'm ready to do this. I'm gonna turn the video. So I've already started removing some paint down here, and you can see right through there, but I really wanna test that old paint that's down there. So I'm gonna squeeze, and the it's coming out. So it says 30 seconds. So we're gonna give it 30 seconds, but you can tell that that's already turning red on my woodwork. So clearly I know I've got lead paint in here. So, I'll just go ahead and call that a day. So that is red on my swab. So that means I do have lead. So what am I going to do to pr help protect myself? So, I've got this respirator. If I could find the package, I don't know where I put it. Um, but I bought this at Home Depot, and it is for lead paint. Um, it's also a 3M respirator. Um, so, and it comes with filters, so you put these filters inside of the respirator, or on the outside actually, they kind of like attach to the outside, and it came in a package like this. So I'm gonna put these uh, filters on in just a moment. And then another product I'm using is um, this Smart Strip. So it's this Smart Strip uh, by Dumond, and it's an advanced paint remover, so there's no VOC and I'll post some other um, photos of me using that, but you basically paint it onto your woodwork, and then you can use this laminated paper to go over it, and um, I've actually still got some up at the top right here. So you can see the paper that I put over it, and now the paint is coming off really well up there. So I do that, um, and then another thing, I did buy a heat gun. So this is a Wagner, and I can control the temperature and the fan level. So I'm using that along with paint scrapers. So not sure why I decided to remove all this paint, but I did. So I've got a really good start on all of the window casings so far in this room, um, and I've started the baseboards. So I'll check back in to tell you guys the finished product. It's probably going to take quite a while, but um, I'm excited to get it going. So see you guys later. Bye.